Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man Miles Morales video. And today, what I got for you guys here is a ton of news that has dropped from both Insomniac Games officially and from Game Informer. We got a brand new alternate suit revealed, some new character bios, and some new gameplay. But before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And if you're new here and you're looking forward to Spider-Man Miles Morales, well, I'm gonna be making videos on everything in regards to this game and Spider-Man Remastered. All the news, updates, trailers, gameplay, my reactions, my inevitable let's play when the game does launch and more so if you'd like to you can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live and with all that being said let's jump into this so the insomniac game social media channels have been keeping very busy in promoting this game they just recently started a new video series that include text message chains between Miles and his friends. The first video was between Miles and Peter, and the latest one was between him and Genki. I do recommend checking them out. I'll leave links in the description box below. But today, what I want to talk about was more Daily Bugle Now articles. There was one that went up just yesterday that gives us some bios for some of the side characters we'll be interacting with within the story of Spider-Man Miles Morales. The first one, though, is about Miles himself, as the article begins by saying, Culture, NYC's youthful glow. NYC has a habit of churning out bright stars from actors and artists to business people and tech geniuses, but we're turning the spotlight on the younger stars on the scene, each with their own entrepreneurial enterprises. Teenager Miles Morales may not be a household name, but the talented young producer has used his makeshift bedroom studio to cook up some of the hottest mixtapes in East Harlem. And then a direct quote from Miles here says, music is a huge part of my life. My dad used to make music with my uncle using sounds from the streets. I'm definitely inspired by their old school beats, but I mix them with a 2020 vision. A nice little hint towards Aaron Davis. I hope we're gonna see that play out within this game, and I'm really hoping that they're keeping it a surprise in Prowler being the main villain of the game. Next up though, we got Danica Hart, and this is a character that apparently some people spotted during the gameplay demo we got for Spider-Man Miles Morales last month during the PS5 showcase. And here's what the Daily Bugle has to say about her. Danica has hosted her own podcast for a while, but the fact it's quickly jumping up the charts shows she's gaining momentum as a fresh and fair perspective amongst other bombastic one-sided podcasters and a quote from her says some people unfairly push one side of the story like they trash spider-man and his partner but they're heroes period not sorry about it i just want to present a realistic point of view so listeners are as informed as they can be when they pick a side you know i wonder what one-sided podcaster could they possibly be referring to that hates Spider-Man. There's also been quite a bit of speculation in the community that this character might be the Tinkerer because of the purple hair, but I'm not really buying it. Next up though, we got Haley Cooper, who is known throughout East Harlem as a street artist. Her work shows that she doesn't let her hearing disability stop her from showing art is worth more than a thousand words. Her quote here says, I'm a visual person, especially with my hearing impairment. Aside from art for art's sake, I want my work to move people and raise awareness about issues or causes they should know about. And I believe we actually have seen this character very briefly during one of the Game Informer videos. In the Spider-Cat video, when Miles is walking into the bodega, she's walking out of it. But last up, we got Miles' best friend, Genki Lee. And it's mentioned here that he hasn't finished high school yet, but he's already filled a hard drive or two with software developments any big tech company would be jealous of. And Genki says that technology can do so much for us. I'm in the middle of building a game-changing app that's top secret. Well, actually, I can say that once it's live, it'll be the go-to app whenever you need help. This is referring to the friendly neighborhood spider app that Miles will be using in the game, and essentially on that app, you can see recent crimes, you can see some of Miles' main missions, side objectives, all that fun stuff. But moving on now to another Daily Bugle Now article that I know you guys will be very excited about. This one was posted just today, and the article actually highlights some of the alternate suits that Miles rocks in this game. It's 
titled Fashion, New Spider-Man's Got Style. They may share the same moniker, but the new Spider-Man is starting to define his own identity apart from his mentor. In addition to honing his own spider moves, Spidey's partner is starting to show New York City that he's got an eye for fashion. And check out that new suit. We're going to talk about it in just a second. The article continues, though, by saying, take a look at two of the freshest suits we've ever seen, debuted by the new Spider-Man. The next image reveals to us officially the Crimson Cowl Suit, which the name alone is so badass. On the left side there, the article is saying, could it be a two-piece? Spider-Man looks like he's ready to hit the gym in this slick, athletic suit. Then next to that full look of the Crimson Cowl Suit, the article mentions, some call it a hood, others call it a cowl. Regardless, it's never been done before, and it's a look our new Spider-Man owns. And then the last image for the Daily Bugle Now article showcases the track suit, which is mentioned as an evolution of his classic red and black suit. It looks like it's made of a breathable fabric so Spider-Man can swing through the city without breaking a sweat. And that's a really good look at the track suit on the right there. The text mentioning the new Spider-Man swung through the city in a second suit that elevated his heroic silhouette. I gotta say, I find it interesting that this game wants to really make a statement out of the fact that Spider-Man wears alternate costumes. There really wasn't too much of a big deal when Peter was doing this, but I guess when it comes to Miles, there is a statement out of the fact that he wears different alternate costumes, and he's not just stuck to one look. I kind of like that, the acknowledgement of a Spider-Man that has a bit of a fashion sense. It's also canon now, per the text message trailer between Miles and Genki, that Genki Lee is the one who designed the tracksuit, so that's pretty awesome. Next up, though, in this massive news roundup, if you remember for my last Spider-Man video, there was going to be an interview that was put up between Brian Horton and Andrew Reiner at Game Informer, and it was put up just yesterday, and with that, we also got some brand new gameplay. You're seeing all of that on screen right now. The first bit is of Miles taking a full swing in Marvel's New York City, a snowy New York City, and I've sung the praises a bunch, but let me sing them once more. The animators did a bang-up job with what they've done here for Miles. I love that during one of those swings his legs are flailing and again you just get that bit of inexperience but also that style following the web swinging gameplay though we also got an extended look at the rhino sequence we got to see this as one of the first things revealed from game informer during their monthly coverage but now we get a little more of that cutscene when rhino breaks out of that container and we can see that peter is chasing him throughout the city as rhino's just destroying everything in his path andrew reiner keeps teasing that this opening sequence is even more action packed than some of the bigger set pieces in Spider-Man PS4, so I'm really hyped to play through this. And the last bit of news that I wanted to point out for you guys is something that I know a lot of people are going to be very happy to hear, as it's about those three new suits that we've been hearing about that'll be coming to Spider-Man Remastered. A Twitter user by the name Positive Vibes underscore one tweeted at Insomniac saying, I love your guys' unique marketing. Keep up the great work. Also, if you don't mind me asking, is the three new suits exclusive to Spider-Man Remastered or will it also be available on PS4? And James Stevenson over at Insomniac replied saying, I spent a bunch of time chasing this for you and I'm pleased to say that they will come to PS4 exact timing TBD. This is just great, great news. A lot of people kept asking me about this, and I'm so glad that Insomniac has officially confirmed it. Those three new suits, one of them being the Amazing Spider-Man suit, will be available for people playing Spider-Man on the PS4. The only thing is, based on what I'm reading there from James Stevenson, we might not get access to those alternate suits at the exact time of Spider-Man Remastered's release on November 12th. I do wonder if the suits are going to be paid, but if Insomniac's track record is to say anything, then it'll most likely just be a free update. Only time will tell, and not that much time to go until Spider-Man Miles Morales launches alongside Spider-Man Remastered and the PlayStation 5 November 12th is just three weeks away. And with all that said, I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. First of all, what do you think about those character bios? Second of all, what do you think about the Crimson Cowl suit? Third of all, what do you think about the new gameplay and cutscene that we got to look at? And then finally, what do you think about the news that those three new suits will be arriving to the PlayStation 4 version 
of Marvel's Spider-Man. Sound off in the comments, and of course, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support, and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose, and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.